ਸਾਡੇ ਨਾਲ ਸ਼ੋ ਚ ਇੱਕ ਹੋਰ ਟੋਰਾਂਟੋ ਦੇ ਮੇਅਰ ਕੈਂਡੀਡੇਟ ਐਂਥਨੀ ਫੁਰੇ ਮੌਜੂਦ ਹੈ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਪਤਾ ਹੈ 43 ਤੋਂ ਵੱਧ ਕੈਂਡੀਡੇਟਸ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਬਾਈ ਇਲੈਕਸ਼ਨ ਚ ਟੋਰਾਂਟੋ ਦੇ ਹੈ ਉਹਦੇ ਚ ਰੇਜ ਦੇ ਅੰਦਰ ਪ੍ਰੀਵੀਅਸ ਪੁਲਿਸ ਚੀਫ ਔਰ ਬਾਕੀ ਵਕਫਾ ਕੈਂਡੀਡੇਟਸ ਹੈ ਤੇ ਐਂਥਨੀ ਫੁਰੇ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਕਿ ਫਾਰਮਰ ਟੋਰਾਂਟੋ ਸੰਦ ਦੇ ਕਾਲਮਨਿਸਟ ਐਂਡ ਬ੍ਰਾਡਕਾਸਟਰ ਹੈ ਉਹ ਵੀ ਇਸ ਫਾਈਟ ਚ ਲੜ ਰਹੇ ਹੈ ਕਿਉਂ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਲੱਗਿਆ ਕਿ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਰੇਸ ਚ ਅੱਗੇ ਆਣਾ ਚਾਹੀਦਾ ਹੈ ਔਰ ਫਾਈਟ ਕਰਨੀ ਚਾਹੀਦੀ ਅਸੀਂ ਗੱਲਬਾਤ ਕਰਾਂਗੇ ਮਿਸਟਰ ਐਂਥਨੀ ਵੈਲਕਮ ਟੂ ਪ੍ਰਾਈਮ ਏਸ਼ੀਆ ਓ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ ਸੋ ਮੱਚ ਇਟਸ ਅ ਗ੍ਰੇਟ ਪਲੇਜਰ ਟੂ ਬੀ ਹੇਅਰ ਨਿਟਨ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ ਫॉर ਹੈਵਿੰਗ ਮੀ ਮਾਈ ਸਟ੍ਰੇਟ ਕੁਐਸਚਨ ਟੂ ਯੂ ਲਾਈਕ ਯੂ ਵਰ ਅ ਫਾਰਮਰ ਟੋਰਾਂਟੋ ਸਨ ਕਾਲਮਨਿਸਟ ਨਾਉ ਵਾਈ ਯੂ ਥਿੰਕ ਥੈਟ ਯੂ ਵਿਲ ਬੀ ਫਿਟ ਫॉर ਦਿਸ ਪੋਸਟ ਐਂਡ ਯੂ ਕੇਮ ਫਾਰਵਰਡ ਟੂ ਰਨ ਫॉर ਅ ਮੇਰਲ ਕੈਂਡੀਡੇਟ ਹੇਅਰ ਇਨ ਟੋਰਾਂਟੋ Great question. I loved being a newspaper columnist in this city for over 10 years, a talk radio show host and television uh, show host as well. And that experience got me in touch with people from all across the city, from all walks of life to talk about what we loved about Toronto, but also to talk about our concerns. And while I was a newspaper columnist, I wrote about municipal issues, writing about city hall, looking at the issues and talking about how we can do better. and right now people want us to, be, to 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 do better on a number of fronts when it comes to affordability issues when it comes to crime i'm going to step forward on all of those fronts i've already made a number of big promises there's talk about new taxes road tolls on the gardner and dvp a municipal sales tax this would just hit low income individuals hard during the affordability crisis it would also make things difficult for shop owners we got to say no to those new taxes instead we've got to respect hard working taxpayers and find value for money that's one of the big things i'm going to be doing uh, mr anthony uh, since uh, list of candidates is very big long so do you think anyone is the main contender or anyone you think that is a uh, uh, you have a challenge with them yeah i think it's open to anyone right now i mean i will say that when you see someone like miss olivia chow is a very left wing individual who wants to bring in i think we'll see even more of those bike lanes that are frustrating drivers even more taxes perhaps more drug injection sites and i have said we're not going to be doing those things because it's making congestion more difficult when it comes to public safety i already gave a press conference saying the city wants to create two new drug injection sites but i'm going to be saying pause time out we're not doing those instead we're going to create treatment centers because throughout my visits across Toronto I'm meeting with different communities cultural groups faith groups and they say they don't want a society that encourages people to get on drugs they want to get these people off of drugs and if we get those people off of drugs they stop doing the random attacks so much of the issues on the subway and on the streets the random attacks relate to the drugs issue and i'm going to say no we have to put a stop to all of that uh mr anthony like uh, we know that toronto is one of the biggest municipality the population is very high in uh, toronto and the crime rate is very high because the population is high and ttc violence they are unstoppable and a series of violence happened in ttc stabbing gun shooting and all those things car jackings in the city of toronto also uh when we interviewed the uh, former police chief mark saunders he said system is not working system is broken uh being a ex former police chief he said the system is broken so do you also feel that system is broken that's not working because crime rate school threats and carjackings and stabbings they are a lot in city of toronto also uh what are your views on thoughts on this yes i believe mark saunders broke the system because a few years ago the toronto police voted and all voted non confidence for his leadership police left the force under his leadership they were quitting retiring and the number of police decreased when he was police chief morale was at an all time low and also mr saunders he bowed down to the radical activists who were attacking the police i have never done that i have always supported the police and while we have budgetary concerns we cannot be saying we need fewer police we need more there are a lot less police now than there was 10 years ago and yet there are more people in toronto than there were 10 years ago people are concerned about their children their teenagers going out on their own on the subway system we need to invest in the police not defund them so you are in favor of more police funding because premier ford said that uh, select the candidate who wants more funding not who want a defunding of the police your thoughts on this yes sir i am support of more funding for the police more officers on the streets and out in the communities to keep people safe many of these other radical candidates 
They're saying they don't support the police. They called to defund the police. And yet they also want to raise people's taxes and take more money from small businesses and regular folks. I'm saying we have to manage the budget in a way where we can have more police, but we're also not going out and adding taxes anytime we can on people. Bail reform, changes in the criminal code. You were a columnist. You might wrote a lot of on this too. And uh, you are uh, running for the biggest municipality for the mayor candidate. So 13 Canadian premiers, they wrote to federal government to make changes in the criminal code. If you become a mayor, what will be your voice on this? I will be the biggest voice possible in Canada saying we need these changes to bail conditions because the people who are randomly attacking our children, randomly attacking the elderly, so many of them either have drug problems, which I said I'm already going to address, no more drug injection sites, or they are people who are out on bail. They committed a crime just the other day and they're let out yet again. They have an incredible criminal record where we know they're repeat offenders. They get let out again. So I will work with other mayors to champion the issue and say to Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, we need action on this immediately. Uh, Mr. Anthony, uh, Hamilton declared emergency on the homelessness. So what are your views for the Toronto homelessness? This is also a serious concern now. Yeah, there are communities all across Toronto which are so compassionate, so many different faith and cultural groups which are doing humanitarian work, volunteerism to help support the homeless people. And we want to be doing what we can to help them with the mental health, the drug addiction issues, get them into homes. At the same time, there are playgrounds across the city where children cannot play because they have just become basically homeless camps. There are parks where families would like to go on the weekend, but there are law and order problems related to the homeless population. But we need to care for the homeless population, but we can't let people be sleeping on the subways all the time. We can't let them take over the parks. We need the police to say, look guys, you have to move on here and let's move you to services where you can get help. Because right now, safety and general cleanliness of our society is at stake here. If you become the mayor, what will be your two main priorities after winning the elections? Great question. Respecting taxpayers, taking a look at that budget and getting rid of all those pet projects where there are people out there because they're close to someone in government, because they are radical activists, they're getting money handed out to them. Hardworking Torontonians money. No, everything must be about providing services that residents rely on and respecting every one of their dollars. I'm going to start doing that from day one. Mr. Anthony, thank you for coming and discussing all these important uh, issues which the community might be facing, the Torontonians are facing, and we wish you all the best for your future and for this campaign also. You can learn more about the campaign at fury.ca. That's F-U-R-E-Y.ca. Thank you for the opportunity. Thank you, Mr. Anthony.